Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy D Lord, and today I am bringing you guys a crazy, crazy episode. Make sure you guys definitely stay tuned for this whole episode. But first things first, before we get into the gameplay, let's take a look at our recruiting. Michael Herring, our top guy. We are leading Alabama. We should be able to get him. Charles Taylor, another guy that we definitely want. We are going to bring him in for a visit. So these are the things we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about his opportunity to play next year, explain to him what a typical day of practice is like. We're also going to let him watch team highlights from last year. I don't know how good these highlights are, but we're going to show it to him regardless. We're going to read through the playbook together, and we're going to have some of our team captains take him out for lunch. So that's the recruiting strategy for today as we take on Eastern Washington, a Division I AA school. Hopefully, we can win our second game of the season in our second game back-to-back -back and get a victory against this FCS opponent. So right away, you see Eastern Washington, excuse me, have the football. First down, they go pretty much nowhere on second. Now, they try to take a shot down the field. This football will fall incomplete. So now it is third and 11. The quarterback is rolling out to his right, throwing it back to his left. This football will fall incomplete. So now it is first and 10. We have the football on offense right away. This is Austin breaking off a run, but he fumbles it. Luckily for him and for us, we're able to fall back on that football. So now Hickson is dropping back, and Bruce Hickson throws his first interception of the ball game. And Eastern Washington is going to take over. Pretty good field position, but they definitely need to try to go ahead and drive all the way down the field. So this is the quarterback. He's being brought down for a sack. But then on second and third, and they come out in the empty formation, and then we almost... We almost come up with that interception right there. Would have been a huge pick. Right here, we do come up with the interception. And we end up taking over at the 45-yard line. So already near midfield, second and 13. We go with the jet sweep. But this goes absolutely nowhere. So now it is third down. Bruce Hickson is dropping back. And he's throwing interception number two of the ball game. Eastern Washington takes over at midfield. So quarterback dropping back right here. He's going to complete this one to 83. Look at him breaking tackles left to right. And he is gone. Nobody is going to catch him. He's taking this one into the end zone for a touchdown, you guys. And we are trailing Eastern Washington. We already lost to one. FCS team earlier on in the season. We're not looking to lose to FCS team number two. So we're back on offense right here, taking a shot down the field. This football will sail out of bounds. So second and 10, go ahead and hand it off to Austin. He's trying to get a couple of blocks. He's unable to get them. He gets brought down after a gain of six. So now it is third and four. Hickson rolling out to his left, keeping his eyes down the field, but this football will fall incomplete as he got hit as he tried to throw it. On our next possession, we're looking at another third down. Look at this, Jackson catches it, then he fumbles the football. Eastern Washington is gonna fall on it. So a very uneventful game, but a lot of turnovers here, and Eastern Washington is going to capitalize, taking a shot down the field. That is gonna be number 83 who makes the reception. He takes one to the crib for a touchdown. So now we are trailing by 14 points in this ball game. Four minutes to go here in the second quarter. We go with a play action. Hickson rolling out to his right, trying to throw this one across his body to the left, and this one is going to be dropped. Eastern Washington will take over with the football. So a handoff to the fullback. He gets a gain of five yards, second and five now. Jumping back from under center, looking to the left, and this one will be a first down conversion for Eastern Washington. So now they're jumping back again. This time the quarterback's gonna take off running and look at this run. We are unable to get to him and he's actually gonna take this one to the crib for a touchdown. A huge run right there, guys. And they are up 21 to nothing in this ball game. It's absolutely crazy, but we need to try to do something here at halftime and hopefully we can come out here in the third quarter and we can come back in this ball game. So, First play of the third quarter, an incomplete pass. Third and 14 right here, Bruce Hickson dropping back. He does complete this one to Swan down the middle of the field. That will actually be a first down. Now the next play, Hickson dropping back, trying to take a shot down the field. But we're going to overthrow our receiver right there. So now it's going to be third and 10 for Alabama State. So Hickson dropping back, and this one will be dropped. The receiver had an opportunity to come down with the catch, but instead, Eastern Washington will take over on offense. So under center in the empty formation, they give the football right back to us. Don't get interception, that is Bradley, our linebacker, with that huge pick. We start off this drive at the 34-yard line, so Hickson looking to his right. He's going to find Swan. He's able to get a couple of yards on that reception, but now third down. We hand it off to Austin. He is a little short. We decide to go for it on fourth down. It is fourth and three, to be exact. We're looking for the flat route, and this football 
is going to fall incomplete. So Eastern Washington forced a turnover on downs and they will answer taking a shot down the field. And just like that, they are, are in Alabama State territory, second and seven. Quarterback is dropping back and this one's going to be deflected into the hands of Brantley who comes up with that interception, a huge turnover for us. But we need to try to finally get some points. Coming up with a lot of big stops on defense. Haven't done anything offensively. So we're dropping back right here. Getting hit as we try to throw it on first down. Second and 10 now. Bruce six is dropping back. Looking for the slant route. And this one will be intercepted again. So Eastern Washington, they have the football. It is third and six right here. Under center once again in the empty formation. Dropping back. The pressure gets to him. And he will be brought down for a sack. So luckily for us. That gets them out of field goal range. They don't get any points off of that turnover. But now we are running out of time. And the time's going to keep on going as we get brought down for a sack. Third and 15 right here. We go with the jet sweep. But look at Anderson trying to get it first down. He fumbles the ball. But we cannot advance it on the fumble. So fourth and two. We decide to go for it. And look at the room that Austin has. Taking this one to the outside. And down to about the 40-yard line. So we still have the football. We still have hope. And right here, this is going to be Anderson on the drag route. He makes that reception, and that will get a gain of seven. Now here in the fourth quarter, Bruce Sixon dropping back, trying to find somebody who is open. He sees Jackson coming across the field. Jackson makes that reception, and we are now in eastern Washington territory. Right here, Hickson dropping back again, finding Anderson, who is absolutely on fire on this possession. Second and inches, we hand it off to Jackson. He picks up a first down on that carry, keeping the drive, keeping the game alive for us. We go with a just sweep out of the wild cap formation and we're going to break out of a tackle and take this one down to the 12 yard line so now it is first and 10 taking a shot into the end zone pass was a little inaccurate goes out of bounds here so now we're taking another shot into the end zone and jackson making the touchdown reception you guys so we're down by 14 still got four minutes to go but look at this fake toss pass that Eastern Washington is going to do definitely caught us right there. That's going to be a huge play for him. But then the next play, throw it to the receiver. He makes a reception. Second and four. They're dropping back, throwing this one up. And this one will be intercepted by Campbell. A huge interception, you guys. And we are back in this ball game. We need 14 points. Got three minutes to do it. But we definitely need to score on this possession. But first pass is going to fall incomplete. Now it is second down, looking for the receiver, and this one is intercepted, and this game looks to be just about over. So we already know, Eastern Washington is going to come out here, they're going to try to run the football, we're going to try to strip the football, and we do just that on the very first play. They fumble the ball, we're able to recover it, and we are going to take over, but look at this one again, you guys, a clutch strip, and a clutch play just by our defense as a whole, going out to the football, getting it back. And now we have opportunity to still try to cut into the deficit, but we cannot turn the football over. So first play, looking for that drag route again, and the same result's going to happen. It will fall incomplete. So now second down, taking the shot down the field. And look at the diving catch by Anderson. A huge play right there. That's going to bring us a little past midfield. So now the next play, we go with a play fake. Bruce Hickson is rolling out to his right, trying to keep his eyes down the field, but this football is going to fall incomplete. So now it is second and ten. Hickson looking to his left, a wide open receiver. This one is caught by Anderson. He is being pushed out of bounds at the six yard line. So now 3 02 remains in the ball game. Hickson rolling out to his right, taking the shot for Anderson in the end zone, and he makes the reception. That is going to be a touchdown, and we are now only down by seven points. So here comes Eastern Washington. We know they are going to run the football. So we're trying to come out here and run commit just about every single play. Third and 15 right here. Hand off to the fullback. We come up. We make a stop. And guess what, you guys? We have an opportunity here to score a touchdown and to try to force overtime. So starting from our own 36-yard line, Bruce Hicks and dropping back. Gets hit as he throws it. And luckily for us, this football was not intercepted as the falls incomplete. So then the next play, we actually complete a drag pattern that's going to be the Jackson a gain of seven. Third and three we decide to go with a jet sweep here but look at the blocks I think we caught him off guard we get a huge block by Austin and Anderson is taking this one to the crib for a touchdown you guys and we are actually able to finally force overtime but Eastern Washington they have different plans a minute and 15 remaining and they're going to go ahead and they're going to try to win this ball game so first and 10 they're dropping back looking for a pass and this one is going to be intercepted by Cooper nobody is in front of him he's taking this one to the crib for a touchdown so instead of overtime we are actually leading this game you guys 28 unanswered points 
in this fourth quarter. Absolutely ridiculous, but now we need to hold on. Eastern Washington, they have the football. It is fourth and 12. They need to come up with a conversion here or this game is just about over and this football is actually falling incomplete. So now all we need is one first down and this game will for sure be over. So we hand off to Austin right there. He gets a gain of eight. Second and two, hand it off to Austin again, but this time Eastern Washington is able to come up with a stop. So now it's going to be third and one, hand it off to Austin again, but Eastern Washington is there to stuff that run. But look at this, you guys. The greatest day ever for our program. Eastern Washington is actually going to celebrate right there. Get an unsportsmanlike penalty. That's going to be a 15-yard penalty and automatic first down, which means all we got to do is come out, take a knee, and this ball game is over. So a 21-point deficit in the fourth quarter erased with 28 unanswered points. You see the Gatorade is going to be splashed on me right there, and we are actually going to win. Our second consecutive game of the season after starting 0-6. We are now 2-6 on the year. Bruce takes and stats. He threw the ball 43 times, which is absolutely ridiculous. Threw four picks, but he came through when we needed him the most, throwing two um, two touchdowns excuse me, in that fourth quarter. Our running game, Austin, 15 carries, 42 yards. Kind of pedestrian, but Anderson, two attempts, 70 yards, absolutely crazy. Pretty much the game winning, at least the game tying touchdown run that he had. He also had 117 receiving yards. Absolutely crazy game, you guys. That's two wins in a row. We're now two and six. But that is all I have for this episode, you guys. As always, I definitely hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please go ahead, leave this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace. We just go no, 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 we can't come close, come close. Got it for the low, 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 low. Waited for the six, but it's going slow mo. Yeah, don't go, don't go. I just can't come close, come close. I'm looking for the low ball.